All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a Chrome abstract in Blender like this one. Now that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, so here in Blender, uh, of course, like always, we're gonna get rid of our defaults. Let's open up really quick a um, second window. Um, we're gonna add a Shift A and add a camera. Zero to go to camera view and to open the uh, the tap on, on the side tap go to view camera to view and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to align our camera manually right on the y-axis there's probably a better way to do it I just I've always done it this way and so I'm gonna do it like this uh, once you have this um, you pretty much already got the camera set up um, another thing I always well that always pretty much bothers me is that the camera i don't know for some reason it, it's never straight it's always like at an angle and it kind of bothers me so we're gonna ry and rotate it slightly so that it's just perfectly straight and um i think that looks better to me and um if you guys hear that background noise is a 3d printer uh, but um anyways let's, let's get into it um so basically, once you have this camera, we're gonna go ahead and shift A to add a quick um, curve, bezier. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and R, Z, 90 to make it, make it go longer that way. And as you can see, we already have this curve that it's outside the camera and then just slightly go, goes in. Um, really quick, let's add some um, depth to that curve. So bring down the geometry tab and on bevel, you wanna bring up the depth. I would say honestly maybe somewhere around there should be cool that's kind of like mid um and then we're gonna go ahead and fill caps resolution bring it up to 12 and um over here on resolution preview you bring it up to 36 and that just pretty much makes your um resolution on your curve looks up look a whole lot better um once you have that what you want to do is over here go into edit mode and you're gonna select this one point right here and we're gonna shift s to scale it down like that so we have this pointy um line and another thing you could do is we could e to extrude and we're gonna go ahead and bring another line out let's go to top view select this point e to extrude and we're gonna extrude another another line like this this one we're gonna gz to bring it up and so the only reason why i have this shift s bring this all the way down this metal point shift s bring it up a bit i would say somewhere around there this one shift s bring it all the way down again say somewhere around there should be pretty cool and then rotate this but yeah so the only reason why i have this front view is because we're able to pretty much move and do whatever we want to do freely on this side and then on this side of course we know the composition that we're setting up so I'm basically gonna go, ahead, gonna go ahead and set up a whole bunch of curves like this one and my camera over here so it looks pretty cool and it's gonna look like a cool um abstract so um to do that all you want to do is shift d to duplicate and um we're gonna move it somewhere on the x-axis like this um we're gonna go into edit mode we're gonna go ahead and move some of these points to this side gz to bring it up a bit more this one gz to bring it down a bit um you might want to go ahead and rotate this like so somewhere around there should be pretty cool um if you want to bring if you want to change the depth of the uh the curve shift as maybe make this one a bit bigger um and this one i think it looks a bit weird so we're gonna rotate it a bit as well and um, bring it more this way like that um, of course now we're gonna go ahead and keep adding more Z bring some more down so we have something going on down here um, of course edit mode we're gonna probably bring this up more towards somewhere over there go to 3 to side view rotate it somewhere around there I would say Something like this looks pretty cool. Something like that. 
and then maybe bring this forward even more something like that and again I'm just gonna go ahead and keep adding curves and I, and you go ahead and do this freely on your own and um, I'll see you on the other side All right, so I pretty much already got my whole abstract going on. And the only reason why I don't show you step by step how to get this exact look right here is because I actually want you to go ahead and um, play it, play with it. You know, it doesn't, this whole part, it's a creative part where you could go ahead and now that you know how to add curves and make them look pretty cool, go ahead, have, have fun with it, do things. Um, I, I believe I tried once to add some type of letters while having this abstract within the within the uh the you know the whole abstract and all these pipe uh or splines going on right but just like i said just play with it have fun and see what you come up with and maybe you know even add your own sauce and make it look even better right so once you have all these all you pretty much want to do is make sure we're going to go ahead and add a material so new for material and um base color we're going to leave it there uh, metallic we're gonna bring that all the the metallic we're gonna bring it all the way up roughness we're gonna do point one and um, we're gonna go ahead really quick and go into uh, render view and um, on the world properties we're gonna bring this all the way to black um, let's go to render view actually over here and um, we're gonna go ahead and add some quick lights so that we can see what's going on so shift a first really quick we're gonna add a um, plane we're gonna go into edit mode right click subdivide and we're gonna go ahead and bring this subdivide tab up and we're gonna bring this all the way up to about not 50 actually hold on let's do let's see what time looks like yeah to somewhere around 15 and um go out of edit mode we're gonna go to the modifier tab add a modifier and we're gonna add a wireframe modifier uh gz we're gonna bring this up somewhere around there should work G Y to grab it on the Y axis, bring it somewhere like I would say somewhere here, make it a bit bigger, say somewhere around there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a material to this. And um, um, emission strength or the emission, we're gonna bring this to white. And the emission strength, I would say somewhere around five should work. And we're gonna go ahead really quickly and go into cycles. And now we got something like this going on. And as you can see, we only have this one. Um, spline I'd say chrome so to get them all the to get all the, the other ones I say chrome spline all you got to do is select this one control L to link materials and you'll get them all looking like this and so now we got this really cool abstract thing going on with this light coming from above um, you really can't see the light on the camera scene but you could tell that there's a light above and then another cool thing that you could do now is once you have this, you can go ahead and shift A and add some real quick um, area lights to your scene. GY, bring this back like that. GX, bring it sideways. Let's make this probably like a like a red. Something like that. You know, actually somewhere more over here. Kind of like a red pinkish. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure this is aiming somewhere over here also we got a uh, cpu to gpu no wonder why my computer was like acting up right now i was i was i was confused there for a little bit but yeah something like this um you go ahead and duplicate this um play with the colors maybe we're gonna go ahead and add a green somewhere like that bring the strength up a bit also maybe to like i would say 40 if not 70 and of course we don't have the light aiming at the uh, what we got going on here so that's why we don't see anything uh and i think this is this is pretty cool already um if we go ahead and go into the output properties and render vision you'll only see what you have in that camera so it only focuses on that let's turn off the overlays so that we only have this whole cool metallic thing going on right and so if we go ahead and lower if we go to the render properties 
and we lower we we put a time limit of i would say 10 seconds really quick um just to see a quick composition um render image we're gonna go ahead and render this image out really quick um let's just wait 10 seconds really quick to see what we got going on so this is just a test um this is the low resolution render of course you can go ahead and render with more samples a longer time limit and um, you'll get a whole better image but this works right now just to, to go ahead and add some quick glow to it so let's go to compositing use nodes we're gonna bring this back like so shift a we're gonna add a we're gonna add a uh, viewer node um click on that bring it sideways like that shift a and we're gonna we're gonna add a we're gonna add a glare node and um drop this right there shift right click to add a cut right in between and we're gonna put this image right there and so now we get this cool effect glow effect um going on right now um i don't i wouldn't want to go with that one i think i'm gonna go with the fat glow and um you go ahead and play with the settings say I'd say probably at one where it should be we should be good. Yeah, somewhere around there, I think that that looks pretty cool. So basically, zero would be the best threshold. Let's see what we got. I like that real fat glow thing going on. All right. So and then the size you could play up with the size. Bring this down. Bring this up. I think maybe somewhere around like seven was fine. Um, and that looks pretty cool to me. And so now if you go back to your render thing, you'll have that glow effect. And I think this looks super cool. And again, this was done really quick. This was done in about 17 minutes. It looks pretty cool. Um, and you could use this for many other things. So you could go ahead and add this into Photoshop, add some texture effects, um, some overlays, add some text, typography, all these cool stuff. And uh, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like down below, comment what you want to see next, subscribe for more, turn on that bell notification button to stay tuned for future content, and um, I'm out. <laughs>